Hey, so this is a uh, trial, um, a test to see how to post the videos. So your assignment um, is to create a, a piece of art. Uh, it can be a video, it can be done as a slideshow, you can do an interview with someone, you could um, do a collage of images, uh, you could take uh, some snaps or um, uh, screenshots um, from various sources and link them together with text, and all in the aim of trying to articulate um, an aspect of Selnit's view on hope, right? Instead of just thinking about hope as uh, being positive or um, highlighting uh, that things were going to get better, she makes this really important point, I think, um, to me anyway, that, that hope is, hope is responsibility. Hope is grasping the potentiality for change at any moment. Um, but what is, is especially important is that during crises, during disasters, um, during pandemics, even there's a way that we can envision things differently because it upsets the status quo. So maybe there's something that the pandemic has helped you see differently so that you can change it, um, or at least you can see it as changeable. Um, what, what, what about your own life? What about your education? What about human nature? What about power? Uh, what about racism? Um, what about inequality? What are, what are, is there anything that's been going on for the last nine months now um, that rather than it all being depressing has actually, you know, helped you see um, or at least aligns with her point, namely that, that, that disasters shake things up. And part of what they shake up is the power um, that those in control have, not only um, literal power, but the power of narrative, right? The power of describing the way that we are. So what there may be ways in which, for instance, people want to describe um, demonstrators as anarchists, but but really, are they, are, or are they, are they, um, are people articulating uh, needs for social justice that, uh, that can be heard maybe now? So, so your assignment is to create some piece of art. It can be uh, a, a video. It can be an audio story, a podcast. It can be somebody you interview, maybe someone you know was active in the civil rights movement. How would they connect to Solnit's vision of hope? Um, it can be a, a series of slides. You can make a collage of images that fold into one another, um, but all with the aim of trying to capture and uh, hope, um, Solnit's notion of hope and to capture that and, and to even expand upon it, right? If you, if you wanted to explain to someone what her version of hope is um, and how that, is, uh, how that applies to our current moment, um, you know, how would you do it? Not in words, right? Not only in words. And it doesn't have to be very long just as long as it takes. Um, so it can be very brief, a couple of minutes. Um, I've had students use uh, stick figure animation applications, um, which are really cool. Um, and I've had students do really interesting interviews with people in their family who've lived through other disasters and kind of related it to now. So that's your assignment. And um, just have it done for class, and we'll look at them um, during class on Monday.